Welcome back, in today's video we're going to see how to use the WP port generator action to help us generate a POT file inside our code. The last video we were able to see how we can add text domains when we forget to add them to our strings inside our code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new action which is this generator to help us generate the POT file and reduce the workload that we're supposed to do. Now we have an example file right here for us and it's almost or sort of similar to what we had before, but it has a number of things that it requires for us to add into our action to be able to do what it does. So I'm going to go back to our code here and I'm going to go to code. Inside our dev branch the first thing that I'm going to do is go to actions, click new workflow, set up this workflow, and I'm going to call this generate.pot.yaml, and inside here I'm going to add our code, now here we shall say generate.pot file, that will be the name of our action, we're going to run it against the dev branch again, and the jobs that we'll be doing is running this on the latest Ubuntu server, taking the steps of the action, and we're going to run WordPress port generator. Now this action comes from this developer, and it basically uses the WP CLI functions, and what it does, it asks you to save a path. Now the path where I want to save my POT file should be in the languages subdirectory of my code. So we'll add languages here, and then the slug that I'm going to have is of course similar to what my repo is, so I'll change that right here. Now it will look for any point where I have WP GitHub action and it will get that text and then throw it in the POT file. Now I need to just add a, a token, now remember in that last video we made, we added a new token which we called repo token, so I'm going to reuse the same token, I'm going to commit this inside a new branch, and the branch that I'm going to call add port file, and I'll click propose new file, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this to the dev branch because we want all the actions to be working inside our dev branch, so I'll add a message, add PRT action, and I will merge this directly, and we'll see that now our dev branch has the .pot file which we've added, so I'm going to create another branch which I'll call test port making, no pun intended, and inside this uh, text dash port making, what I'm going to do is actually just add another line of code, so I'll go to the .php file, and I'm going to make some corrections to this, I'm going to remove this right here, I'll add a new line and which says language is complex, and I'm going to leave it so that we see whether both actions will run for us, and then I am going to commit this, directly save it in the port making, and then I'm going to come here to pull requests, and I'm going to make a pull request from our text port making, and I'm going to push it to our dev branch, so I'll add new lines to this, add new lines, and then I'm going to create a pull request. Now that everything is okay, we don't have any issues, we can merge the pull request inside our dev branch, and now that we've finished merging in our dev branch, let's go and view our dev branch, and you'll see that it's still orange, it's still doing something, but we can see from here that we have a new languages folder showing up right here, so I'll click on this to see what's inside the languages, and we'll see that we have a wp-github-action.pot file, and if I click on it, you'll see that it has different texts here, but it has the things that we are going to translate inside our pot file, and you'll see that the author needs to be changed, the description of the plugin, the URI, the name of the plugin, 
and we have hello is the right word showing up right here. So I'll reload this and we'll check our text.example, you'll see that our language is complex, now has also a github action on it, but I don't know if our pot is picking up the action. So it's not showing up because one action runs a, a little bit faster than the other, so there needs to be a sequence for that to happen. Now because the generate.pot runs before the text domain file, that's why we're having those issues. We have to find a way of reordering these two files so that the text domain gets added in first and then the .pot action actually runs next. Or we can decide to just have a merger of these two and have one action run before the other. 